Love it. So I got some two. These packs have a lot in them, so you can definitely get more than one use. I can smell this hill of crystal oil, I can tell you that. Um. Hey y'all. Welcome to another video. It's me, Tanya Renee, and I am doing what? Another grocery haul. Why? Because we need a food and drink. Um, y'all, I almost didn't even make a video today because I am tired. And I really wish I had done pre-recording because that really does help. So I'm gonna try to get ahead of myself and do some of that. But I do want to show y'all a couple things that I'm gonna do eventually. I might still come back and do them tonight. I don't know, it depends on the time, if I'm gonna have time to do it and get this video out. But I bought two boxes of instant pudding mix. One is chocolate, one is lemon. I'm gonna make two no-bake pies, a chocolate mousse pie and a lemon cream pie. Both no-bake, super easy. Um, I got the stuff that I need, everything except oatmeal because I wanna make some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Why am I making all these desserts? Because we be wanting sweet stuff and we'll be having it. And so if I have the ingredients at the house, then I can just make it if I'm, you know, like, oh, we should have this. I can get up and go get the stuff and then just make it instead of going to the store, bought, buying something that's already made and then maybe not liking it. So I got my sugar. And I got some brown sugar over here too, but all this, I, I did. Why are groceries so expensive? Why? Um, white vinegar, my whip topping for my two pies, pie shells, and the, pick the pudding mix. Needed some coffee, about to pick some of that. And y'all just went to McDonald's, right? Because I wanted a, a large fry and a vanilla ice latte. Can't get my coffee because the machine wasn't working. No, correction, they were cleaning the machine. So I said, I'll come home and fix one. Got some popcorn because I'm tired of doing like the popcorn in the pan, like the old fashioned way. That's how I've been doing popcorn. Potatoes, two for five. Why? Because I think they had them frozen. That's what I think. Cause that stuff, some of the stuff in the store is a little too cold for it to have just been sitting in the produce aisle. Some of this stuff is cold. It took me 15 minutes to pick out onions. 15. Because half of them, then this bag that I got, they just so happen to be okay. But the other ones, most of them had mold. And I y'all know me and my stories and my issues with, with rotten onions when I cut into them. So I'm gonna um put all this stuff away. I had to get some more apples. We needed more lemons, limes. Um, there's a drink that I want to make. I don't know if I want to make it this weekend or like one day next week or after, after, you know, for my nightcap, but it calls for limes. So I went on and got the limes and they had their ground turkey on sale. So I got two of those because they were on sale two for seven. And I'm gonna fry some chicken tonight. So that's another reason why I said I wasn't even sure if I was gonna, you know, get to do a video because it's going on seven o'clock. Well, it's going on 6.30. But it's just been like this time of year. This, yeah, because this is quarterly reporting. My days are long and early. Like I get, I sometimes log in early, get off late. It all depends on how my reports are going. Um. Y'all, I love this. This tuna, I love it. So, I got some tuna. Um, yeah, so I got my little tuna. And I need some brown sugar butter cookies. Brown sugar and unsalted butter for my cookies. It's a lot of stuff. It really isn't. It just looks like it is. But yeah, I'm gonna, ooh, so tomorrow I'm gonna do some, um, I needed some more baking soda too. Tomorrow I'm gonna do some potato leek soup in the crock pot. So y'all get ready for that because that's gonna be a little, re a little recipe that y'all can keep. And it lasts quite a while if you don't have a house full of people that eat it. Now I'm, me and Alyssa, I don't even know if Alyssa actually eats it. But I know I, I made it last. Yes, she does, because she tried some when she came home last year. 
um, one of those weekends. So I'm gonna make the potato leek soup tomorrow. And I'll probably end up making the pies tomorrow because this whipped topping has to thaw before I can use it. Because even though they're no-bake no pies, this has to be um, soft so that you can actually cream it with the pudding mix. So I'm gonna put all these groceries away and then I'm gonna come back and you know what, I might do a little facial tonight. Yeah, because I'm tired. I'm about to get me a glass of wine. I'm going to take me a shower. I'm going to do a facial. Oh, y'all, I got this new little thing. Let me show it to y'all. Hold on. Okay. I bought this little... Let me move my, move my little groceries out of the way. I bought this little... um, What is it called? A facial steamer? Yeah, I got this facial steamer off Amazon. And I bought all of this stuff to do a facial, right? So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and come back and we're gonna do a Dollar Tree facial because everything that I got for my face is from Dollar Tree. I said I wanna see what I could find from Dollar Tree to do a facial. So I got a neck lift patch or yeah, neck lift patch. I got a, one for your chin. This one is a age defying sheet mask. It's retinol. I probably, I'm not going to use all of that at one time. Um, I got these little eye masks, which I'm definitely going to put those on. Then I have the cleanser and another, it's a cleanser and mask. It's green tea facial cleanser and activated charcoal face mask. And then I even got the little um, face mitt to, you know, exfoliate. So I picked that up. And I got some microfiber facial pads. I guess these are basically can be used the same way. And then I even got Dollar Tree batteries because <laughs> I was like, I want to do a Dollar Tree facial to see how it goes. And then I got this rose quartz vibrating facial massager. Now this video is going to be up late, so when y'all watching it, just know that I'm recording at 625 on Friday night. So if y'all don't get the video till say 11, that's why. Facial exfoliating it. Let me open that. This is gonna be interesting. Just using all Dollar Tree products. I'm excited about it. So here's a little mitt. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pink on one side, and this is the like microfiber, and then this is like a kind of more like a cotton pad. And then it says, directions for cleanser. Y'all bear with me, because I'm reading this without my glasses. Tear open the cleanser and squeeze product onto your hands. All right, so I guess this is, I'm assuming it is perforated at the top somewhere since it said to tear it. Yep, I guess I could tear both of them <laughs> since I'm gonna use the mask anyway, so. focus camera okay so let me wash my hands Let's do this. I don't know why I always start talking when I got water running I had to stop myself from washing my face in the shower because I'm so used to washing my face in the shower um, at night so my hands are wet Let's see, oh, it's like a gel. This is gonna be more than one wash, one facial, because, I mean, this pack has enough in it for more than one, so I'll probably use it in the morning if it doesn't bother me tonight, but y'all probably can't see it. I'm trying to back up so you can see. I don't know if you can see that gel, but it's a lot. I mean, pretty good. Oh, it smells good. Oh, I should've put my little water thingies on to stop the water from running down my arm. It smells good. So it's green tea and it smells like green tea and cucumbers to me. And I can't see to turn the water on. Okay. 
Ooh, that is burning. A hunk of hunk of burning love. Ooh, this feels good. Yeah, this feels great. So now I'm gonna rinse off of, um, rinse all this off. And y'all can see, it really gives you a good, I did it again. So as y'all can see, it gives you a really good suds and it feels mild. It doesn't feel like harsh on my skin. So I'm gonna rinse my face off now. Now, let's do the um, charcoal, activated charcoal face mask. I should have brought my little wand down here what it looks like coming out the pack. This is enough for my whole face. These packs have a lot in them, so you can definitely get more than one use out of these packs. Oh, and it smells. This smells good. This don't smell like normal charcoal mask. It's like, I have, I can't place the uh, fragrance, but it doesn't smell like the normal charcoal mask. Okay, so I have the mask on and I think it's supposed to sit on for 20 minutes or 10 minutes. Girl, I was about to be really um, masked up. All right, so now we wait for 20, I mean, I keep saying 20 minutes. Maybe I need to let it sit for 20 minutes since I keep saying 20 minutes. Now we wait for the next 10 minutes. And I'm gonna um, get some saran wrap, clean wrap, and cover this so that it doesn't dry up because there is still so much product in here. I just put clean wrap on them, that way they won't dry up, and I'll have them for when I get ready to use them again. So I took the tag off of my little pad because they do have tags on the back of them. I'm gonna use this to take the cleanser off and I'm starting to sweat, so it's perfect time to take it off. Child, I'm over here having a whole private summer in the fall and it does stain i don't know if you can see the top but it does stain some so if you use this you might want to use a cloth or something that you don't mind staining because this is what it looks like now okay so i did have to use um an actual cloth to get all of the cleanser off because it's still ooh. Okay, let's go and figure out this little facial steamer situation so then we can do the steaming and then do the little masks for my chin and my neck because y'all know I'm 50. So I'm trying to make sure I don't wrinkle. Mm. All right, so I'm going to plug it up. Here and let's see what the directions tell us to do. Let me turn that TV down. Oh, let me find some English instructions because I can't read none of these. That's German, Italian. I don't know what that flag is. That's Spanish. That's British. British. They speak. Girl, that's what I said. They speak English. Okay. Deep cleanse your pores. Um, well, this is just telling you what it does. The temperature of the face steamer. What? Seven. What's seven? Seven is not in English. Okay, here you go. Steam valve is number three. What? Okay, so this is the steam valve. Neck mask is number two. Oh, so when I go in, it's gonna do like that, I guess. I'm gonna do like that. What? I need a video. Nasal mask? Girl, that said nasal. I'm saying here talking about neck. That's it. <laughs> this is a nasal mask, not a neck mask. Oh, that would be perfect for my allergies. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be perfect for my allergies. I should have read these directions a long time ago. I would have been using this had I known it could deal with these sinuses. This is the main body, the power button. Go ahead, push your button. That's the LED indica indicator. And the numbers are the temperatures, I think. The amount of steam that you want. Okay, so I have some 
Helichrysum essential oil, which is really good for your lymphatic system. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some, put the water in the chamber and I just use the measuring cup that comes with it. And I have some Helichrysum oil, which is really good for your lymphatic system. So I'm gonna put a couple drops of that in. I just did three drops because I haven't used it before. So like using this thing before. I use that Helichrysum oil when I make like my own um, facial wash. And I've also used it for um, hair conditioner. So, all right, it's on. Let's see, it's very quiet. So it's on, you can see the LED button. Yeah, you can see the LED button. Oh, you can feel it heating up. So this is cool. Oh, that's how you get the steam. Girl, I'm about to show you. Okay, so this, I thought it was a push valve, but it's a slide. So if you look down in, it closes them and opens them so that you can get the steam. It's starting to boil or steam or whatever, because you can hear it. And I can smell the oil. I know, corny, right? I should have poured me a glass of wine. I'm gonna pour some wine when I do the, um, when I put my mask on, cause I gotta sit for a while with those on. I'm gonna sit for like 20 minutes with those on. And so you just, oh my God, that feels good. I need, I should have been had this unpacked too because this feels so good on my sinuses. It's like a facial massage. It's a massager, right? Yeah, vibrating facial massager. I do feel like I got a piece of skin from the facial mask. Oh, this feels nice, y'all. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I can smell this helichrysum oil, I can tell you that. Steaming! Can you see the steam? I should have got a towel to put over my head. Okay, I'm going too far, I know, I know, calm down. But next time, I'm gonna have it with some eucalyptus and lavender, and I'm gonna steam my whole face with the towel cover. Okay, here we go. Baby, that's hot, hold on. I gotta turn that down to one. <laughs> Woo, cause it is hot. Oh, you know what, before I do that, I need to, um use my toner, which is the Dollar Tree Witch Hazel. This is my facial toner. And I wanna open my pores up so that when I go down in the steam, let me close it so I don't waste all my, waste all my steam. But this is my little, th I use this every day as a toner. All right, so now I can go down in the steam. It feels so good. Let me stop playing and just go, go for it. I don't know if you can see a sheen yet, but I, I'm sweating. All right. So the water is boiling in the reservoir, and I'm gonna turn it off now. So I'm put on these little girls. A lot of solution in here. Good lord, they give you a lot of. Put mine on like this. And it's cute little cherries. I don't know if y'all can tell because of the light, but. And I always rub the extra product in on my hands. And then I always take, when I put eye mask on, I always take a roller. I have one upstairs. This is just the one that I wanted to use from Dollar Tree since I'm doing a Dollar Tree facial. But I always do this. Put on the neck lift. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go buy some more of these eye masks. But if y'all ain't never used one of these before. Oh, it's cold. I feel like I got a neck brace on. And then this little chin thing. How long am I supposed to sit this on? 20, 30 minutes, okay. Girl, this gotta go around my ears? My, ma'am, my ears are not gonna fit through here. I just feel like this ain't gonna work for my face. Cause girl, look, it's supposed to reach to your ears. That ain't happening. Well, I look like I've been in a car accident or had some kind of facial surgery. <laughs> look, it's supposed to fit your ears. Okay, problem, it's not gonna fit my ears. All in all, am I pleased with my facial? I am. Um, would I buy any products again? 
I would definitely buy the eye mask again. I would buy the facial cleanser. I would buy the mask, that little set. Um, I would buy the neck thing. I wouldn't buy the chin. That's more for a child's face because the ears, the ear pieces stop right here on my face. My ears are way up here. Um, definitely the little microfiber pads. I will use those again. I'm probably going to go get a couple of packs of those because I like the way that it felt when I use it with my witch hazel to as my toner. I like those scrubbing on the mitt. So I would definitely use those. I'm definitely going to use those products again. So out of all the products, the only thing I wouldn't buy again is the, um, is the chin up thing because like I said it just didn't fit my face it was for a toddler and I will talk to y'all tomorrow